Exodus 33 has been a very formative chapter for me in my view of and conversation with God. At the end of the chapter, we learn that God is so holy that mere men like you and me can't even look at his face without dying. And you may think, wait, I thought God is love. Well, to that I would say he is the power plant of love, so pure, so powerful that we can't withstand it. Yet verse 11 says that this great and holy God talked to Moses as a friend. In the verses that follow, we get to witness one of these conversations. And what I noticed is that Moses talked to God as a friend as well. Moses was emotionally raw and honest as he vented his feelings, frustrations, and fears to God. When he finished, God softly and lovingly asked Moses what he really wanted. And in that moment, I believe Moses realized this. Problems come and go, and tomorrow new ones pop up. The difficulties he faced, they weren't an attack on his life, well-being, leadership skills, or self-esteem. They were just tactics. The real battle was on his faith in God. So Moses asked only one thing, to see God's glory. Here's my challenge to you and me today. Talk to God as a friend. Be emotionally raw, honest, and list your fears and insecurities. He's a big God and he can handle it, I promise. Then spend time focusing on his glory and his greatness and watch all those other things pale in comparison. Listen to God's words in verse 14. And he said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest.